my goodness, I'm so excited, totally stoked to be doing this video for you. I, uh, I, I can't even start with all of the fun things that are happening in August right now. Um, my name's Katie. I'm your Pampered Chef lady. Hey, if you are a Pampered Chef fan, I need to know. Tell me what your favorite product is. And do you have a guess? Tell me what product do you think that Pampered Chef should come out with in the future? Because I need to know. I know there's a suggestion box too. All right, so there are new products I get to share with you today, and um, I'm gonna be um, revealing those in just a minute, but I have so much to share with you, and I'm trying to make dinner for my family. So um, we have chosen to make a risotto. My, my daughter lovingly calls it cheesy rice, okay? And um, I'm gonna grill some chicken, and uh, I'm going to make some ice cream for our dessert, okay? So whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, homemade ice cream, I'm in, right? And I'm super stoked about the recipe that I have today from one of, uh, one of, my, uh, one of our community customers. So Katie Pampered Chef Lady has a community here on Facebook. It's free to join if you haven't yet. You can follow the page, you can, um, you can join the group and we do a giveaway there every single month for anyone who places an order, even if you're not part of a party. But you may be watching and being part of a party as well and I um, have fun things to share with you as um, also. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the ice cream because that takes about 30 minutes, about 25 minutes or so. And I'm wanting this video to be under 30 minutes as we make this meal and I show you all the things and tell you all of the specials. First, you have to know that August has four of our major electronic products for 25% off. So um, I'm gonna show you what four of those are and in just a moment, but first let's go ahead and get the ice cream ingredients out and get that going. Does anyone have like fond memories of ice cream making? Because my grandma, um, I used to go down and visit her and she would um, have a day, like one day the week that I was with her where we'd make like banana ice cream and we'd get all the ingredients together. They had to stay chilled and then we'd use salt and be in the hot garage and it'd take all day to, to make that ice cream, but it was so worth it and so fun. And so I get a little of that nostalgia when I uh, use Pamper Chef's ice cream maker. So let me grab the ingredients. Today we are making a strawberry basil. Have you ever heard of a basil ice cream before? Now in the freezer, I have the ice cream bowl and it's been frozen for 24 hours. That's really important. It comes with this lid so that you can store the ice cream, which we always eat the ice cream so quick and then I just use our little <laughs> freezer storage bins. But this lid is really nice because it holds all that cold air in when it's in the freezer as well. So just even colder. Now let me get the lid here. There's a few parts to this puppy. Really easy to use though. You've got uh, the actual machine here. Let's stick that in. And the paddle for churning, right? All right. And then in our classic batter bowl here, I'm probably gonna need a scraper. Um, I've got, um, I, I altered the recipe, I can share it with you. Say, show me that ice cream recipe if you're interested in basil ice cream, right? Um, I'm just gonna put um, the ice cream in here. I used, not heavy whipping cream, what did I use? It was coconut cream in it, from a can. And uh, then I used pureed strawberries. I used the blender, which is one of our 25% off in August items. Um, and then I also used uh, I sauteed, sauteed the basil in the cream and then let that sit for like five minutes. It was really fast and um, I had never heard of that. And then you remove it and uh, let it thicken, but that basil flavor stays really well. So I'm just gonna plug this up, push the power button and the timer. I'm gonna set to 30 minutes. It's just gonna start on its own clicked into place there. Okay, so ice cream's going dessert first, always, right? So what's your favorite ice cream? What do you guys like? Uh, my favorite, I love Dole Whip, the dairy-free Dole Whip. Um, I love any cashew ice cream, um, but as far as flavor, I go with the classic, um, what's that, cookie dough. Love the cookie dough. Okay, next up we're going to get the 
quick cooker going. The quick cooker here is Pamper Chef's version of a pressure cooker, and um, it is such an ideal thing to have, whether it's you know the winter, fall months, and you're trying to like get dinner on the table and go a thousand places, or if it's the summer and you don't want to heat up your oven and you don't want to cook, you can uh, use the quick cooker. It's got a little inner pot here. Um, you can put your ingredients in, get them prepared, put them in the fridge, and then when you're ready to cook, put it out there. It can be a slow cooker as well. There's all kinds of amazing things you can do with it. Now we are gonna do this arborio rice, and for that rice, I um, I don't know, it's like a different shape. Do you see this? It's, uh, it's called risotto rice, or this arborio. The brand I don't think matters. Um, but it's just like a nice fluffy rice. It almost feels like pasta. It's nice and uh, nice and thick. Okay, let me grab my easy reads here. It's just a cup of rice. All right. And I like to rinse my rice with the fine mesh strainer. And the reason is it kind of gets the starchiness off the rice, so it's like a clean, uh, a clean sticky rice instead of like a gummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this. And we'll just rinse that for a second. Usually I do that part before, but I forgot. So I'll get this prepared in the meantime. I always like to cook my rice and my noodles with vegetable broth instead of water. Just adding that little bit of extra flavor without adding a ton of salt. And you need about three cups, so one cup to three. This recipe was adapted from the Rock Crock. So any Rock Crock fans out there, because this one you can make this same recipe in the rock crock in the microwave. It takes about 20 minutes in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water to help this along. I was just about, um, I don't know, maybe a fourth of a cup off. Okay, so I've got my rinsed rice. Now, one thing that you're wanting want to do with this recipe, if, you're, if your team has onions, you're gonna take a little food processor, you're gonna cut the onion butts off, all right? And then you're gonna put your onion in here and you're gonna chop it up. Woohoo, all the onions. All right, so then you're gonna turn your saute on or sear and start this quick cooker. That's gonna get it nice and hot and add just a little bit of oil. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then you're gonna add your onions since some of you may be really keen and paying attention, you may know that there are no actual onions in my food processor. And so, since I didn't have an onion, we we're going to use Pamper Chef's Three Onion Rub and crushed peppercorn and garlic. Two of my faves. All right, you're going to get that nice and hot so we get that flavor in there. And put the seasoning in the oil. Oh, I'm excited. Every time I get these seasonings out, I'm like, oh yeah. Well, I mean, what's better than garlic and onions cooking? I mean, that smells so good. Um, all right, now we're gonna just toast the rice for a moment in the quick cooker there. Let me stir that around. All right, let me tell you about the quick cooker and the other products that are on sale in August for 25% off. That is not just for hosts, but also for you. So if you have been wanting a pressure cooker, you can get like, I don't know, Walmart, Target prices, but get the Pamper Chef one with the warranty and with uh, supporting small local business, right? Okay, so with the quick cooker is normally, the price is typically $209, okay? Um, with the sale that's going on right now, you can order it um, from your host or through me. Now, make sure you have the right link when you order. So I want you to do this. If you're wanting anything that you see tonight, send me a private message or tag me in the comments and say, hey, send me the link I need to use, all right, so that we make sure you get the right link and get your discount and the right uh, party gets credit. Now, with a tw it's 209 normally with a 25% off, $156.75. And if you're a past host, like you've hosted in the last um, 12 months, you're also gonna get an additional 10% off. 
And when you host a party, you would get it, you could get it 50% off just from collecting the smallest amount of orders. Okay, so that's the quick cooker. Starting to smell it now. Yum, yum, yum. So super duper simple, just kind of toast the rice a little bit. We're gonna add our vegetable broth. It's one cup to three. Now with a lot of liquid and the needing to build up pressure, it's gonna take just a few minutes to come to pressure. So in order to get that going, when I use my pressure cooker, I always put my finger along the little silicone ring. That's gonna keep the steam in. Make sure that the vents are closed, and then I'm gonna take it off of the searing where we were doing sauteing the garlic and onions, right? Oh, I forgot to do my fake garlic. Anybody have the garlic press? I should show it to you. If, well, if I can find it, right? This is like the beauty and the, ter the terror of having like doing it in your own home. So that's the garlic press, so just pretend we put the garlic in there as well. That's what our crushed garlic and pepper corn is. Tell me I am not the only one that does this, right? Well, hopefully you guys aren't pretending, but. All right, I'm going over to the white rice setting. Now, I'm gonna do six minutes on that rice, um, but again, with a pressure cooker, it takes a little time for it to warm up and build pressure, and then it cooks really, really fast. That's how more nutrition stays in when you pressure cook, um, which is amazing. It doesn't all come out in the steam or in the microwave, right? Okay, in addition to the quick cooker, we also have the grill. So let me turn just a tad so you can see our brand new deluxe grill and griddle. So these have interchangeable plates, so they come out nice and easy. You get both the grill that has the like indentions here, but it also the griddle. Um, plates as well and this one is also 25% off in August so our normal price for the grill and griddle is $349 but you'll be getting it for $261.75 now when you host a small party by collecting orders from friends if you wanted this then you could take that 25% off price and cut it in half by 50% as well and when you're a past host you can get an extra 10% off you guys probably can't even follow there's so many discounts it's pretty crazy. So I'm going to go over to the grill setting and uh, there's presets on this grill and griddle so you don't have to know how to do it or what the um, how to cook or anything like that. You just kind of follow directions. And by the way, the, the air fryer, the quick cooker, the grill and griddle and our cooking butter all come with their own amazing how to use and simple recipes like cookbook. Um, it's called a cooking guide and if any of you have any of these tell us how amazing that cooking guide is it is um, Incredible. It's how I troubleshoot anything um, And this especially really intimidated me. I was like, I don't know. I, I never have been a griller anyway um, I love my grill pan with press but um, having it like preset always the right heat always the right time I've just said grill and then pushed the button to have it start preheating. So while it's preheating, let's go ahead and prepare our chicken. So I'm sure some of you guys meal prep. This is my favorite meal prep tip. I like to <clears throat> trim my chicken when I get it. I like the breast because I hate having that tenderloin, uh, whatever that is in there, that that's that string thing that's in the chicken. Um, <clears throat> I like to take my, my, my big fat chicken breast and I'll trim them with the professional shears. And then I'll put my big fat chicken breast on the closing cut. And I'm gonna to do tomatoes today because we're gonna serve those in our rice. <clears throat> okay. So the closing cut set comes with the closing cut and this blue chef's knife. <clears throat> and it cuts whatever is there right in half. So when I'm doing a meal prep for chicken I just cut all the chicken one time cut it in half and then I put it into freezer bags where it's not touching each other and I lay it flat so that I can just take one piece or I can take enough for the family like today there were probably eight pieces of chicken in there and I just kept four and left the others in the other bag so these are now ready to go
And what I love about it is I don't have to touch the chicken on a normal, you know, afternoon or night or whatever. Okay, so I've got these. Oh, and it thaws a lot quicker when they're thin like that. So each one of these was half a breast. So you can see it's nice and thin instead of those big fat, big fat chicken breasts. Okay, maybe you guys should take a drink for every time I say that. All right, kitchen spritzer. It has some high heat cooking oil in it. This is grapeseed oil. You can also use avocado oil. I'm manually pumping the lid on our kitchen spritzer because that's how it sprays, just like an aerosol. Now, this is one of those products that people seem to say like, oh, mine isn't working. It's, you know, it's a stream instead of, instead of a spritz. And so there's a couple of things you want to know about this kitchen spritzer. First of all, it can go through the dishwasher and if it's ever gummy or your, your oil looks or smells old, you can actually just, um, you can actually just like put hot and soapy water in here, pump, 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 and spray the hot soapy water out until everything's clean. So I, that's how I like to do it. And then I run it through the dishwasher, <clears throat> fill it to the fill line when you're done spraying. So I just seasoned one side. Let me turn these over. They're still a touch frozen. Um, the last thing you want to do is once you've, you've done your spraying, you're actually going to let the pressure out and that's going to get you ready for the next time. So if you don't want the pressure out, it can like build up pressure and then seep through and that's when you start having problems with it. So as long as you know those two tips, you're good to go. All right. <clears throat> so still heating up. Let's go ahead and show you some fixins like the stuff that we do inside um, the rice, some mozzarella cheese. The recipe calls for mozzarella cheese sticks and you cut them up with the professional shears in a little prep bowl. We do the dairy-free cheese, so we just have shreds of that. Our family loves sun-dried tomatoes. And then these are fresh tomatoes from the garden. And I also have some fresh basil from the gar garden that I'll snip up um, nice and fine to sprinkle on our risotto as well. This is the can strainer. It's just a little plastic guy. It goes right over a can or inside of a larger can. See how you can like go inside or on top of. I'm going to take these sun-dried tomatoes and I'm gonna just drain some of them for our like mix. I think they're called mix-ins on the recipe. So I don't know. Anybody a sun-dried tomato fan? Like I'm all in on tomatoes. I don't know about you, but some people really hate them or they only like them a certain way. But anything tomato, I am just like all in. I love it in pastas. I love it in rice. And then with the basil, shoot, this is gonna be such a yummy dinner. I'm ready. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna have the mozzarella cheese, the basil, um, spinach is another great mix-in where you can have some extra nutrition. And um, because it's a rice, you could hide in our super veggie powder, our kale and fiber. You could add in some pea protein and just add some protein or some veggies to your rice as well. So this has to be done soon. Let me, let me do the cherries. All right. I should tell you, oh, there's a lock on it. So this is the cherry pitter or olive pitter. I don't do olives, um, but I love cherries and I eat them quite often. So I'm taking the, in the olive insert out so that you can put the cherry right down in there. And usually my little Emmeline is my helper for this task, but I just want to show you one time <laughs> how cool this is. So I've got my cherries set up in there and then you push them through and you've got all four, all four pits are in there. So fast and easy. And then you can put these in like your bowl to eat, right? And just go again. You can do it like, I think they said you could do over a hundred cherries at a time before you have to clean it out. So that is the cherry pitter. So fun, right? Grill is ready to go. So I'm gonna put our chicken on here. always want to hear the sizzle. So again, 
with our electronic product being on sale, if you would like to order one so that your, your host can get credit or so that you can get credit for our community party, make sure that you ask for the link because we're going to want to make sure you have the right link for that. Okay, so here is the big announcement, fun, fun. I'm so excited to share. So every one, once in a great, great while, I will do a mystery box giveaway. Has anyone been part of the mystery box giveaway in the past? I think the last time we did it was like last, maybe January. So it's long past due. I have brand new Pamper Chef products coming in. It's been daily for the last week or so. And as a Pamper Chef director, I get two sets of all the new products. And whenever I host a party, I don't need any products. And therefore, my closet of things that I get for free or highly super discounted is so full. <clears throat> Dramatic pause. It's so full that once in a while I can just load up a box and give it away. So what I did yesterday is I asked you guys, the community, what should I put in this box? And I let you see some of my things from my closet. Although I'm hiding the new products because they, they're not available quite yet, but I'm going to guarantee that this mystery box has at least one new product in it. And I'm gonna reveal two brand new products right now to you as well. But I, I wanna know if you could win that mystery box worth over $200 uh, with a $200 value, what would you hope was in that box? All right, um, I could always add or exchange some things if you win. Okay, the other thing is I want to get you entered to win and there are three ways to get entered. And so if you would like your name entered to get, um, get one of this, get an entry for this mystery box $200 product giveaway, please let me know. You can let me know in the comments. You can send me a quick private message and be like, hey, I want entered, tell me how, all right? And I, I promise it's really easy. It's nothing big deal. Okay, let's talk about hosting a party. <clears throat> and our brand new exclusive products. So the two products I'm about to show you are available only to people who collect $200 in orders and host a party in August, okay? So anybody cast iron fans? You guys use cast iron at home? Oh, Sherry's like, ooh, intriguing, I love this. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. This is the new enameled cast iron pan. It is incredibly heavy duty, all right? It's got the little lifted baking rack in it, and it's nice and big. Look at that, so fun, and it's enamel. So when you have enameled cast iron, not only is it the heavy duty, last forever, passed down from generation to generation, but the enamel means soap is okay, and you don't have to know anything special about seasoning or anything like that. So that's the cast iron pan. What do you guys think? Pan with rack. 60% off when you have a qualifying party of $200 in order. So that's, that's barely anything. All right. You can do that. All right. The next one I think you're going to be super excited about because when we came out with our cast iron last year, everyone said, where are the lids? <laughs> Give us the lids. So this is a baker with a lid. So you've got your cast iron enameled baker. It has a lid, just like our Dutch oven enameled cast iron baker. So you can get either one of these or any of our existing cast iron, either the set, the bakers, or the big Dutch oven. You can get any one of those for 60% off when you have a, just the smallest party. And here's how we do parties, guys. I set the party up on Facebook. You invite your friends. They say, yes, I wanna join, or no, I don't wanna join. And then whoever says they want to join, those are the people that you would follow up with and say, hey, thanks for your interest in my Pamper Chef party. Would you like to shop? And throughout the week that we have your party, I will also um, share videos and products and fun little games. Super fun, super easy, um, super uh, enjoyable. All right, let's check this out. 
see how we're doing. It's looking good. So our time is up, so let's go ahead and check out the temperature. So I was only, I was just like a little nervous because it was, it was just a, still a little frozen. So I did the five minutes at 450 degrees, like it said. We're just gonna check the thickest piece here with our instant read thermometer. And check that out, 168, that'll do. Okay, so these guys are all set. I'm just going to let those rest for a minute, um, and since I'm not really worried about overcooking at this point, they're just exactly at 165. We're just going to leave them on there for a second. All right. The one product that I didn't talk about yet are the two uh, electronics that are on sale in addition to the 25% uh, off. The air fryer. So it opens like an oven. You've got your two trays and drip tray. It comes with a rotisserie stick. It comes with a fry basket. You can dehydrate roast, um, reheat and crisp up, you can air fry. We do a lot of chicken wings in here, french fries, reheating leftovers. My kids can make their own lunch in it. You can do toast, grilled cheeses, bacon. Um, we've made fruit strips and beef jerky and gosh, there's so many things you can do with it. And the larger capacity, I think it's like 11, I don't, the capacity is larger than most and having that door open has been really helpful and I haven't had anyone get it and not rave about it. Um, it's some, some, some of you have been shy to open the box, but um, I'm just gonna tell you, once you get it out of the box, it's gonna be your favorite thing. The cooking blender, I know you've seen me use a hundred gazillion times, and I did use this when I was making the strawberry basil ice cream yesterday. The thing is about your ice cream when you make it homemade, you want all your ingredients to be chilled, so usually I'll make it during the day and chill it and then make one batch at night and make the next batch the next night because I mean it's ice cream you eat a lot of it right so the cooking blender um, it looks like this it's usually $349 it's on sale for $261 the things we use this for um, in addition to smoothies every single morning if you're making more than one smoothie it's great to have the pitcher we also sell a separate like attachment for um, just single cup smoothies, and it's the smoothest smoothies that you're gonna have. We, um, I had a Ninja, I, I mean, I love my, nothing against it, I love my Ninja, but um, I like how smooth it can get like raspberry, blueberry seeds, uh, blackberry seeds, um, that nothing else has come close to that. The other thing about this is that it cooks. So we make um, alternative um, milks and cheeses. You can make jams in it, again, smooth with the seeds. Um, we've made almond butter in this and what I love about it is that those recipes those um, when you have some kind of allergy or intolerance or something like that it is so much work and so much time to cook this puree this mesh out this do that I mean there's so many steps to it that it's just like I'll just buy the one with the preservatives or we just won't have cheese right um, and so having this here I can make soups I can make um, cheese dips I can make all kinds of things I control what goes into them I know if they're dairy free or gluten free or whatever whatever's important to me plus like I love making homemade spaghetti sauce and doing it in there makes it nice and smooth so that I don't have chunks and the kids say no I'm not eating that it has a big chunk of onion or whatever um, but also I can add in the enrichables nutrition get more fiber get more protein get more veggies servings of veggies all in the same um, soup or dish or sauce or mix and it might be something like nacho cheese night but I know that it has veggie serving the vegetables in it and I know it has protein so um, that's really important to me um, so the blender has been one of my absolute faves like I I it's just something that that I didn't even know existed so all right $200 box ask me how to get entered and I'll give you the three ways in a private message all right the cast iron, these new products, they are they are available to customers in September, but if you do a party and collect orders, whether that be on Facebook or if it's for, um, like I have this link thing, it's called the table, and you send them a link, they go into the table, they can see posts just like they would on Facebook, except for it's not Facebook, and they just see the posts, they can go in there and 
and check par the party out every day. They can go in there and just check it out once and see what's new. Um, they can click on links if they want to. It's just brand new. I've actually never even done a real host in there, so I would love for you to be my guinea pig. Um, or you can just pass the catalog around. I've got a ton of August catalogs I need to get rid of anyway. I'll mail you a couple. You can um, see, see how it goes, and I'll coach you through it. Uh, I would love for you to be able to get not only the 25% off, but as a host, getting the 60% off cast iron, getting any one of our 20 already 25% off items, an additional 50% off, and, and then any of the little gadgets that you love and just need more of, um, you can get those for free or an, you know another half price. All right, let's see if I forgot anything. When you host, you're just inviting friends. That's it. They can say yes or no but most of the time they say yes. And finally, uh, oh, and I get to show, I have to show you the food, um, but but the um, the only other thing that I'm, I'm just gonna throw out here, because you guys have been following and you guys, um, you know, took the time to watch this video. What if, what if you did have a side gig like Pamper Chef? What if you're not a cook and you don't think you could do a live video, but you love these products? Could you still be a great consultant? The answer is yes, and I would love to do that with you. And in August, you can sign up for being a Pamper Chef consultant. When you buy your kit, you get to choose from the quick cooker, the air fryer, or the grill, okay, to come with your kit. You get to choose. And then you have 30 days to try out the business. And when you have when you have a couple of parties, and I can share the details if anyone's interested, you actually get your money back. It's a full kit rebate, and if you um, get that rebate, then you'll have extra money to spend on more products you want or to pay off debt or whatever. Um, if you don't, if you don't qualify or it doesn't work out for you in that 30 days, you get to keep the kit. You don't have to pay any extra for it, and you'll know. So that's my invite to you. Okay, tell me what is your favorite. Uh, product that you saw today if you were interested in one of these um, electronics which one would you love to add to your kitchen if you would like to know the price that you would pay um, for buying any one of the four or any product really just tag me be like Katie how much is the blah 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 and I'll help you with that now the ice cream looks ready the the rice is ready I'm gonna go ahead and I'm turning this around so that it doesn't get on the cabinet, try right, the steam. The chicken, let's go ahead and cut that up and show you that. You guys know about this batter bowl, right? This is not new news. All right. We're almost like right at 30 minutes. So I try I tried. Y'all did good. You probably are chatting with me and I didn't I didn't get a chance to answer you, but I'll go back and look at all the comments, okay? So here's our grilled chicken. I'm gonna just take my salad choppers, chop her up. We're gonna pop this into the rice. Oh, it smells so good. That crushed peppercorn and garlic seasoning. Guys, our seasonings are so amazing. In fact, you know what? Let's do a giveaway. We have several brand new consumable products coming out, okay? There's one seasoning and like four mixes, okay? Oh, there's like six mixes. We'll just say four or five mixes. It's like I can think of that many. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Take a guess. What new edible product, like consumable product, whether it's one of our mixes or the new seasoning that's coming out, guess what it is. And if even one person guesses it, and you, if you're a consultant, no guessing, because <laughs> you know. Um, but um, if, if even one person guesses, every single person who comments on this video is going to be entered to win that product, okay? That consumable product. So start guessing what seasoning and or mix is Pampered Chef adding to their catalog, okay? Oh, that's our ice cream. Did you hear it stop? Let me bring that over and then we're gonna be done. So start guessing, start guessing. Now, this is our strawberry basil ice cream. I made a batch last night as well, and it was so delicious. Okay. Do you see this? It's nice and creamy. 
here. I might as well just kind of show you how creamy it is. Mm. Oh, like you're, you're like, how can an herb taste so good? I mean, it's so good. All right, that's what I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put it in the freezer with a little lid. And I wanna show you these things too. These have been so fun for ice cream, because you know how ice cream gets hard in the little pints? These are silicone flexible uh, storage containers and you can freeze them with the lid. So what I've been doing is just like one serving of ice cream and popping it into the freezer. And it's so awesome because it's already pre-portioned and um, everyone gets their own little ice cream the next day. Okay, did I show you ever? I didn't show you the rice. Oh man, that looks good. So risotto's done, you can kind of see that. Now I'll take pictures and put them in the comments. Someone say, show me the food and then that'll remind me. But we're gonna pop the chicken in, the tomatoes that we cut up, um, the sun-dried and some basil, some spinach, and we'll be good to go. Oh, and cheese, you gotta add the cheese. We're doing mozzarella cheese. All right, you guys are awesome, love you. I can't wait to spoil you with these, this $200 prize box, with these uh, discounts, I can't wait to work with you as a host. So if it's time to do a party, let's do it in August. And um, if you have questions, please pop them in the comments along with your guests so that um, I can do that. I'll have to do that giveaway. I'll give you a day or two, all right? Okay, we'll see you soon. Thanks guys, bye.